If you haven't noticed, we are smack dab amid a massive shift toward more work being done in teams. In the average company, up to 80% of employees' days are now spent working collaboratively. Hey, we all want great teams. They're more innovative and productive, more responsive to customers. The problem is, is that there are so many distractions and challenges to running a modern day team. 96% of executives say poor collaboration is the main source of workplace failures today. 96%, ouch. This is where our research comes in. We have surveyed more than 850,000 people to understand modern team performance. Today's managers are facing trials that the most popular books on teamwork just simply don't address. They have remote employees, temporary or gig employees, an increased speed of change. Not to mention global teams that need to work cross-functionally, millennials. So we identified five disciplines employed by the best leaders of the best modern teams. For example, they get their people up to speed much faster and smarter than their peers. We used to think it took a year to get a new employee profitable. Today, you get just a few weeks. In our keynotes, we give very practical steps used to get new people and new teams up to speed in a fraction of the time. Our data also shows a handful of key differences with millennials and Gen Z. Sure, like stuff like, you know, beards and tattoos in interesting places. Well, stunningly, it's actually more than that. For instance, while autonomy is one of the strongest motivators for Gen X, it actually ranks near the bottom for millennials. Now, that's an important finding. Today's younger workers want and need more coaching or they'll leave. And one last teaser, modern teams challenge everything. To push innovation, we introduce our audiences to creating healthy debate and what we call the radical effect, the remarkable payoff of regularly challenging assumptions and the approach to everything. But always with an eye toward making things better for customers. The bottom line, any leader can make use of these disciplines to build stronger, more agile teams. In the end, it's the best team that wins.